the student in a Make America Great Again hat, captured in a tense face-off with a Native American elder in Washington, says he was only trying to defuse rising tensions. The teen is Nick Sandman, a student from a private all-boys Catholic school in Kentucky. Sandman sparked outrage on social media after footage from dozens of cell phones emerged this weekend showing him staring and smiling at the Indigenous elder. I did smile at one point because I wanted him to know that I was not going to become angry, intimidated, or be provoked into a larger confrontation, reads a statement from Sandman. <laughs> added that he and his parents have received death threats since the nation started picking apart the footage. It all started when a small religious group started saying hateful things to everyone around them. You are the children of Israel. Before you started worshiping totem poles. And then they go after the crowd of Catholic students there for the March for Life. What you say? See how you got these pompous <laughs> come down here in, in the middle of a, a native rally with they dirty hat on with they dusty hat on little dusty animals the students then begin their school chant Sandman said to stand up against the rhetoric Nathan Phillips approaches the students he said in an effort to thwart any potential violence I, I realized I had put myself in a really dangerous situation. In all the videos, Sandman's classmates chant, laugh, and what some regard as mock the elders singing and drumming. And then Phillips comes face to face with Sandman himself. In a statement, the student says he was the one who was trying to calm the situation. I believe that by remaining motionless and calm, I was helping to defuse the situation. I said a silent prayer that the situation would not get out of hand. You guys are acting like a mob. That's what's going on. Mob mentality. It's awesome because you guys are what, like 16? A woman who was there didn't feel that was the spirit. Eventually, Philip's drum falls silent while the black Israelites and students continue to engage until their bus comes and they leave. Even as we're getting a fuller picture of how it all happened, a heated debate continues on social media about whether any of this actually changes the conduct of the boys. And then there's this point, that the lesson that needs to be learned regardless of what happened in Washington is an understanding of the appalling treatment that Native Americans have endured in our country.